All right, so here's my exhaust system for the X1, and um, the simple concept is raise the top glass, so I put spacers around here, and in this section here, it's actually got a vent opening. I've, I'm using my um, quick release head, so I just squeeze the two sides and pull that off. If you haven't seen that yet and you want to build an exhaust system, check it out because it's awesome. One of the great things about this is you put it on, you can rotate it and relieve the stress on your pipes. So it's, it's really good and one-handed removal. And then on the manifold that goes onto my modification here, uh, there's a little release on the back. You push that in and then this slides off. And now you can see the exhaust port into this spacer. So the spacer is 20 millimeters high. All I've done is lift up the glass, created a gap, and then sealed the gap everywhere except for here. And uh, I'll pull off the, the AMS and show you how it sits in there. So, just pop off the glass. Basically, there's just four corners. They all uh, join together using a jigsaw puzzle kind of uh, interlock, which might not be necessary, but I just wanted to make sure if I just did blind butt up joints there, there could be some air coming through. So this just created a little bit more distance for the air to have to flow and therefore reduce it. And all four of these pieces print on the X1 uh, 250 millimeter bed. You can see them all here. Uh, they're all different, but uh, you can print a couple at a time. I did mine in the PLA and that seems to be fine for this. I did the exhaust manifold and all my other exhaust parts in uh, PETG. Of course, one thing I should note is that if you want to just pop this out, you can put the glass back. It's you know it's just a, a real easy fit. We're not it's a non-destructive modification. You just put pull it out anytime you want and put it back anytime you want. So these all just slide together. This one piece straddles the metal on the. The lip of the X1. And it sits down. And you can see it's just sitting there and the glass sits on it just like it sat on the top. This is replicating the top of it. And the exhaust manifold slides on. And that goes on. Everything prints without support. In my posting for this is the top part and this manifold. The uh, quick release head is a separate posting which you can find from my uh, Logical Planet website and get a link to that if it's not already on whatever site you're looking on. And then I've also made, uh, which is separate, posted separately to a variable flow, variable control flow valve. Um, which I'm gonna build into all of these now so that I can balance the air flow. I just remembered a couple of things I should show uh, before I sign this off. The, this exhaust head here. Um, if you want, you can take it off and put on a cap. And that means you don't have to take this apart to kind of go back to its original configuration. So I said earlier, you could take all this out and put the glass back. You can also do, accomplish the same by putting a cap here. And you can also accomplish the same by putting a cap onto this. And I also have a cap for this. So once you take this off, you can cap off this line so that it, you know you can sh block the air from being sucked in here if your system's still running. So I just wanted to throw those in so you know those options are there if you're using this. And something else that I didn't mention is that these exhaust parts are actually have, is this piece is two piece and it's two piece so that you can get a nice clean edge on here on all my different parts. And so this gets glued in. You have to print this part, the end separately. Okay. So the end piece is in the, in the, um, the, the files to download. It looks like this and you just put a bead of glue on there, put it in and twist it and that gives you this end. In this particular part it could have been printed vertically but um, that would make it too high to fit into the X1 
by printing it in two parts, I can max out the height and get the largest volume of, or largest area in here for getting the exhaust out. So that's why I did it the way I did it. I know not everybody's gonna like, you gotta glue that, but uh, it's worth the effort and it's super easy. It's a tight fit, so once you put a bead of glue on, just twist it and leave it for 24 hours and you're good. I forgot to add the quick release head, or this manifold I should say, this manifold here, you can just put the hose with a pipe clamp on it as well. You don't have to use quick release head. Um, obviously, I like that because it's quick release, but this is releasable anyway. So as long as you have enough play in your in your hose, you can just go straight on. And uh, I've had people in the past ask me what I'm doing for the exhaust at the wall. Uh, I just use these. They're about um, fifteen dollars Canadian, called ten dollars US. Uh, on Amazon, you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere. It's got a little variable control on it, so if you don't have a lot attached, you can you can dial down your your exhaust fan. And the manifold that I posted for my exhaust takes this fan, so it's really easy to install. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the manifold just in case you haven't seen it. I have another video about all my exhausts, so if you want to see that, um, that will kind of give you an overview of all the bits and pieces that go with the exhaust so this is the manifold at my wall and right in there is the exhaust fan that i just showed you and so you can put you can see you can put clamps or put a head a removable head a quick release head on it Hope that works for you. Let me know, give me some feedback if you use it, see what it